Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Put your men once some cassipans in your me in him. Once in bonusa. Amen. Amen. We are here to worship. Amen. Abra, your best starting. Per se. Yes, yeah. Worshiping him shortly. It's very short and simple. Amen. Please give me the chorus. So it's like Is it a boobie? It's a Nigerian song. I know most of you are familiar with it. It means glorious skin. See how far you've brought me, Izzy Bube, and I know it is your grace. I am so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it is your grace, and all my days I will sing your praise. Amen. Amen. So it goes. Izzy Bube. See how far you brought me, as a bube. And I know I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days I will sing your praise. Amen. So I believe you can do that. Okay, so let's go.
So we'll sing the chorus over and over. This is how we start our worship. So glad you found me worthy. I can sing, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days I will sing your praise. And say, see how far you brought me. And say, I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days I will sing your praise. Let's do it again. Ese bube. Ese bube. See how far you brought me. Ese I'm so glad you found me wanting. I can see, I can tell, and I know all my days I will sing. So let's do the first one. More than my mouth can testify. More than my mind can comprehend. See the oneness of your grace. I'm so sure that it's not the end. Chorus. See how far you brought me. I'm so glad you found me what I can see. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days I will sing your praise. My heart, second verse. My heart is full of your attitude. To you and no one else but you. Lord, I'm healed by your grace. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for your giving out for me. Oh, it's a booben. See how far. Brought me as a problem. I'm so glad you found me. What I can see, I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days, I'll sing your praise. Let's do the chorus again. As a problem. As a See how far you brought me. It's a problem. I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days I will sing your grace. Okay, I want to hear you. Let's all sing it together. Grace. Last one. 
brought me It's a problem I'm so glad you found me worthy I can see, I can tell And I know it's your grace all my days I can't tell and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. Oh, it's a problem. See how far you brought. Oh, it's a I can see, I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. Oh, may see me then. Oh, both and soon. Now, my Tommy Bow. Now, may see me. Jesus but now Oh me see me then what me see me then what so what me bo na me see Jesus, but now, oh, me see me then, what oh, to return, oh, home So Jesus bless me I have no I have 
God but you and you deserve all other praises there's one thing that you cannot do for yourself is praises and worship that's why this morning we stand here with one heart and with one mind and with one body standing here to proclaim that indeed we have no other God but you we thank you Holy Spirit for being here with us and for gracing this occasion we thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Put your to me, Yatanasi. Amen. Let's open to hymn seven of our hymn book. When the redeemed are gathered here. Amen. Let's all clap. Watch my soul, watch my soul, I'm free from more. I will shout, I will shout, I will shout, I will sing when the redeem. Oh, I got when the redeem, when the redeem. When I redeem my God I read What's my soul, what's my soul And free from all sin Oh, I will sing I will sing When I redeem, when I redeem I am thinking of the rapture I am thinking of the rapture in a blessed home on high. When the redeem, when the redeem my God I Oh, how we raise the heavenly in the seed in the sky. When the redeem, oh, my God, when Redeem when the redeem I got a him. Wash my soul, wash my soul. I will shout, I will sing. Oh, when the redeem, oh, I got. There will be a great procession. There will be a great, great procession over on the street of gold. When I redeem, I got a hymn. Oh, what music! Oh, what music! Oh, what singing! All the city will be rolled. When I redeem, Oh, I can when the redeem, when the redeem, I got a heal. 
Wash my soul, wash my soul, and free from all sin. Oh, I will shout, I will sing, when I redeem. 23. Oh, my faith is up to thee. Divine Savior, Divine. Now I hear me while I pray. Oh, now hear me while I pray. Oh, take, take all my sin. Rich, great impact. Oh, be this kind, great impact. Oh, stretch my faith in heart. Oh, my heart is my. Why life that means I tread? Why life that means I tread? I am grief around me, strength. Be thou, be thou, my God. Be darkness tender thing. Be darkness and today wipe sorrow why so rose and see us away oh no let me see ever see from thee are you washing the blood? Oh, are you was? Are you was in the blood? In the blood, in the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Oh, are you come? Are they white as snow? In the blood, oh, are you was? Are you was? Are you was in the blood? In the blood, what you may assume, Jane Oh, are you a man's Ioka? Best spotless, are they white? Oh, are you was in the blood? Are you was? Are you was in the blood? In the blood? In the soul? Oh, are you garments? What less are they white as snow? Are you watch? Amen. So let's do a short praises.
then I'll give opportunity to Sister Abigail Tete to do a song that we call the pastor. Amen. So clap and sing unto God. Hallelujah. Oh, Nyami Sam. Oh, Nyami Sam. Oh, my Antonio, he runs. Oh, Nyami Sam. Oh, my Antonio. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Oh, my Antonio, the Eurasia, oh, Yamisam. Oh, Cornelio, Yamsam. Oh, Cornelio, Yamfatao. Jesus, when you're Yamsam, as you ram. Jesus, when you're Yamsam. Jesus, when you're young, she Oh, Jesus, when what about Cassie? Oh, by your Oh, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, in no mess. Hallelujah, no matter who. Hallelujah. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Oh, his name is wonderful. Missy, Missy, Wale, Wale, no go, Wale, no go, Wale, no go, Wale, Wale, no go. Oh, Wale, 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 no go, oh. What can you see by ya? What can you see by? What can you see by ya? What can you see by ya, Lord? What can you see by ya? What can you see by ya? What can you see by ya, Lord? Me see mercy and love, Jesus. Me am one who me see and love, me see and love. Eh, me am one who. What's this? What's this? Me, why am I so pro? Oh, ni me na me see mercy and love. Oh Jesus, me me see me see me see I know Jesus. What's this? What's this? Me, why am I so broke? Oh, ni me na na me see me see I know Jesus. Awesome God, oh mighty, mighty God. Awesome God, we give you praise. We give, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. We give you, we give you praise. Let us shout, we are highly. You are highly. You are highly. You are highly. Say you are. You are. You are. You are highly. Let's go one more time. Awesome God. Oh, awesome, awesome God. Oh, awesome God. Say, awesome God. Awesome God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh my, you are highly said. You are, you are, you are highly, you are, you are highly said. You, you are, you are, 
You are, you are holy, say, you are holy, you are, you are holy, you are holy, say, you are holy, little love, my dear, you are holy, say, you are. I let but you with Matt Nancy. Awesome God. We welcome our sister Abigail Tate. You are high. So please, I would like to sing a song to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Oh, my soul, my soul, 
of the heavens and the earth and the seas and does not like unto you, Father. We bow down before you, dear God. We ask that, dear God, may your grace be upon us this morning. Speak to us from that word, Father God. We be yourself to us, dear Father, that we might draw near to you and you honor your promise of drawing nearer to us, Father. We can be dear Father. In Jesus Christ, much less, marvelous and wonderful name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. amen and amen. amen. I want to welcome to that uh, this morning service. And we have lots of visitors here. As much as we can, we want to recognize all that are here. As amen. much as we can. Amen. And we are not our own people in Tima. The boy and woman in Dia say, the man of Mubiara Aquaba. We have Sister Abigail Tete. Sister Abigail Tete. Abigail Tete. Oh, we in Tim. Oh, yes, Abigail. God bless you. Good to see you. Welcome. Amen. Amen. Now, as part of this morning, so we also have a child naming dedication service. Amen. And so that also brought here a lot of family members uh, for our dear brother Emmanuel. What is it by Emma? Yeah, Emma. Yeah. Good. Amen. That's right. So we have uh, brother Emma. Emmanuel Ayi and their wife, uh, Sister Linda Ayi, won't dedicate their baby girl. And so that has brought in relations of the two families. Two families. Two families. families. And so from uh, the maternal side, I can see the uh, the maternal grandma, Nyakuma Komi. Sister Nyakuma Komi. Nyakwa coming. Okay. So they will make it or she's in outside. Okay. Then I can see um, another grandfather here, paternal. Ni Obami Tete. Ni, yeah, ni welcome. Good to see you. Ni lives in the community. Yeah. Yeah. So you will soon be a child, Mamba. You are in a community. In the community. Yeah. Okay, then uh, we also have um, some uncles are here. Rabbi Ai, Rabbi Ai, Rabbi Ai. All right, we have Joshua Ai, Joshua Ai. All right, I can see some aunties also here. We have Vida Tete, Vida Tete, Vida. Yeah, good to see you. There's another, another auntie, Amelia Ai. Amelia? Sister Amelia Ai. Amelia. Yeah. Good you. to oh, see you. Okay. Welcome. Elizabeth Ai. Elizabeth Ai. Yeah, All right. Yeah. No worries. Some uncles also have Festus Ai. Festus? Festus. Festus. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we want to welcome all of you to the end. And the other names I didn't have. Good to see you, sister. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. 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 And then you, say your name, please. Elizabeth. Oh, I didn't lift up your hand. I didn't see. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then brother, you. Harrison. Harrison. Good to see you, sister. Harrison. That is good to see you. Welcome. 
to where we are. Hey, Black Oak, good to see you. Black Oak, good to see you. Black Oak, good to see you. It's an area meeting, eh? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good to see you all. Welcome. We, 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 we are happy to see you here. Amen. 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 All right, so let's go to the dedication. So bring them in, bring them in as a parent. Bring the little girl. Amen. We are say break ground. Let's go to our bra. I won't want to do it. I'm going to do it. children to come unto me Amen. and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and bless them. Amen. Amen. So, we can't do more than what Jesus did. Jesus did not baptize children. If you are told from the scripture that he actually took them up in his arms and and bless them. them. And that's that all that we can do. So we don't need to be baptizing children. I love like them when they go to get of age that they can take responsibility for their lives. So all your penny is on what to make pain about who are. Lord Jesus Christ. Then you can now baptize them. Mm-hmm. But at this stage, as babies, we do not baptize them. But we put our hands upon them and bless them. Amen. For whatever we touch is blessed. Amen. Christ. Christ. Christ would love to do that. Amen. But here, we are just representing here, him this morning over here. Amen. And we trust that the blessing of God on this baby shall come to pass. Amen. 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 Because words are life. Don't forget that. Amen. 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 Okay, so this baby girl was born on Saturday, 7th October 2023. Amen. And the name of the father is Emmanuel Ai. The name of the mother is Linda Ai. And the name that the parents have deemed fit to give to this baby girl is Deborah. Nafushi Shida Ai. Hallelujah. Deborah Nakushi Shida Ai. Deborah Nakushi Shida Ai. And Deborah was a man. great warrior. Although she was a woman, she stood for Israel. Able to defeat the Canaanites. Deborah Kaiser Bakosama. No, no, Jama is a papa. She was also a prophetess. And she was a poet. She was a great woman. Amen. Because of this girl, I was to name her after Deborah of old. 
Amen. She she grew grew up up having the same qualities. Amen. Names, names have impact upon her life. Amen. That is why so God changed Abraham's name to Abraham. 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 And changed Jacob's name to Israel. Israel. So the apostle changed his name to Paul. Simon was changed to Peter. Those things didn't happen for nothing. They are in the scriptures as examples for us to know for us to know that names have impact upon our lives. Amen. Deborah, who grew up with that spirit of Deborah in her. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. 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 And for you who cares. Amen. 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 Now, now, Koshi, in the name for the, you know, with a, with a tribal name, the Ghana, we have, we have uh, lineages. And Amen. based on the line that you come from, if you come from a Lamte family or that family, you have, it follows. So for, for the eyes, for the firstborn girl, it's called Nakoshi. That's Amen. how she have Nakoshi, because it's a firstborn from the Ayi family. That's how it ran for the Ghana. Yeah? We still need to maintain a, a bit of our traditions as well. Amen. 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 So I said, what's Asida? You've got your uh, uh, sister here. Amen. Shida means Asida. Amen. Amen. Rabona. Amen. Where's Rabona? So let's have something done. I'll see. <laughs> Da o nyami na si o mayenda nasio da na si da na si o hine da o nyami na e fi Let's all pray for Deborah. Last we committed to God's hands. Why am I 
to be a blessing to the parents, a blessing to the relations, a blessing to the community, a blessing to the church, Father. Lord, you are kind-hearted, and that every man and woman that you send upon this earth, you give him or her a certain gift. I pray, Heavenly Father, the gift that Lord have given to her, Lord, may your Holy Ghost do upon the Father, that the gift that I anointed her with, Lord, be a blessing to grant it, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. May she grab the God to be a prophetess, Father, like Deborah of old, dear God, and they are blessing the church of God. Grant it, Heavenly Father. Grant the parents to God the grace and the wisdom and the blessings of God that they can bring it up in the fear of the Lord. As, as a people, we have a responsibility to help us bring up the fear of the Lord. So give us grace also and the wisdom, Father God, to be a blessing to our Father. Grant it, Father. In the matchless, marvelous, wonderful, and precious of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we dedicate Deborah, Nakushi, Shida, Ai. Amen. 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 Yeah, God bless you. Congratulations. Only Sister Linda, God bless you. Congratulations. I hope next year you come around again, yeah? Yeah. And so while you are standing, let's take a few scripture readings. Let's turn to Jeremiah 29, 10 to 13. That's a reading from the New King James Version. For thus said the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good work toward you and cause you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search me, when you search for me with all your heart. Amen. Amen. Please, you may be seated. Amen. And let's turn to Second Kings chapter 20, right from the very beginning. Second Kings 20, verse 1. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death. And as the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus said the Lord, set your house in order. For you shall die and not live. 
And he turned his face toward the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart. And have done what was good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And it happened before Isaiah had gone out into the middle court, that the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, surely I will heal you. Amen. Amen. The last reading we take from Acts chapter 10, King James Version now. Acts 10, 30. By the way, it's not yet 10, 30 yet, yeah? Those of you who are mindful of our time. We are only reading from Acts 10, 30, but it's not 10, 30 yet, yeah? King James version now. King James. And Kanala said, Four days ago I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thy arms are hard in remembrance in the sight of God. Amen. Amen. Thy prayer is heard. May the Lord add his blessings the reading of his word. Amen. 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 So, once again, welcome to Eternal Life Trust. A business also about eternal life. That's what we do here. Absolutely. That's why we focus on eternal life, eternal life, eternal life. Because Bible says, what is the problem that might be gain the whole world and lose your soul? So the greatest gift we can have was on this earth, which we must seek for is eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to also recognize. What kind of days that we are living in? If you turn to Second Timothy chapter three, for example, what well, right for the beginning, he said, "But know this, and the last days, perilous times will come." New King James, Second Timothy three one, Sister Priscilla, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters. Amen. Proud, Amen. blasphemous, Amen. disobedient to parents, Amen. unthankful, in other words, ungrateful, Amen. unholy, Amen. unloving, Amen. unforgiving, Amen. slanderous, Amen. without self control, brutal, despisers of good, Amen. traitors, headstrong, haughty. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people turn away. Amen. Amen. And so as a church, we've been looking at the subject that prayer is held for the past three weeks and this is the uh, fourth week on, on this same topic. We want to continue on that same topic. But I'll be very brief. I trust that will close by 11 o'clock so that Amen. those have other places to go because a lot of visitors can also go. And by the way, church, I'll be traveling right out of service also. Amen. Yes. Amen. I had to keep you posted. I'll be going to Sierra Leone. Amen. I'll be away for three weeks. Yeah, I'm going with my portion of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is here. Come to church. Oh, Amen. Come to our, come to there are ministers in the church. So come don't say, Pastor Stoney, I'm not going to church. I go my approach Holy Ghost. I leave him here. He's here with you. Yeah? Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. So I'll be away for three weeks. I need to go to Freetown this afternoon and then work there for the next three weeks. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Now, now Amen. And so we are continuing the same message of uh, the prize head as we read uh, uh, Acts chapter 10. So we need to know what time that we are in. And we read a portion from Timothy telling us the things that St. Paul talked about in, in 2 Timothy. We see it happening now. And those things are supposed to drive us as sons and, and daughters of God 
to God. Amen. Yes. Yes. to him. Amen. Put us in the, in, in the season of desperation. Amen. Crying out unto God. Praying unto God. Because God hears our prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke 17, 26. So let's talk about uh, the time that we are in. We want to recognize what time are we living in and how should our behavior be as Christians? What should our attitude be as Christians? So in St. Luke, Christ was talk talking to the disciples and said, as it was in the days of Noah, so to be also in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Then he continued, said, Likewise, as it was in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought. They sold, they planted, they built. I'm sure you can see a lot of buildings going up. They are building more than all the farmlands that we used to have in Accra here. All tend to buildings. Even this area is a farmland. And when I travel by when I travel by road, my heart sometimes bleeds. I say, hey, so where are the farms? Because place I knew it was farms. Amen. Now it was all gone. It has been built up. Not just in Ra, yeah, 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 farms, absolutely. Yeah, farms. Some Amen. of them were, you know, cassava farms, maize farms. All those things are gone. Now people have put up houses, both left and right on the road. I cried to come out and say, you see the same thing. I cried to cry the same thing. But all because scriptures are being fulfilled. Amen. They build. So we are in a built environment now. They are just building, 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 building. Yeah. Always buying cement, iron rods, Amen. stones. Yeah. Because yeah, scripture is being fulfilled. When you see a truck carrying stones, yeah, Amen. or gravels, realize that scripture is being fulfilled. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what you are in. Amen. Let's continue on. But on a day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Amen. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Genesis chapter 6. So we want to go back to look at what the, when Jesus said, as was the days of Noah. If you want to make a reference, that will take you to Genesis chapter 6. You will see the picture exactly what was there, what Christ was referring to. And yeah. see whether are we seeing those things now. Amen. If you are seeing them now, then we must then the time of going home is at hand. Amen. Absolutely. So now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of earth and daughters were born to them. Amen. Remember, men began to multiply on the face of the earth. In other words, there was population explosion. Amen. The population is just going up like that. Amen. And now on earth, we have more than 8 billion people living on the earth now. Amen. It wasn't like that. Amen. But at a very fast rate, the earth is being populated. That's exactly what happened in the days of Noah. Amen. Noah men began to multiply it. on the face of the earth. Amen. That's exactly what's happening today. That the sons of God saw that the daughters of men and that they were beautiful Amen. and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. And that's what we see. Amen. Our women are much prettier. Our, our, our wives today, yeah, they are much prettier than our mothers. And our mothers are prettier than our grandmothers and all that. That's how it's going. Amen. So if you see the beauty on the, on the earth today, scriptures are being fulfilled. Amen. Absolutely. And the case I shall bring for us the ocean bit more bit more handsome than us. And so they took wives of, for themselves of whom they chose. In fact, Amen. they were just choosing them as wives. Well. They were Amen. not even going through officially Amen. to see their parents and the parents giving the consent. Remember. It is only you need a father's consent Amen. to have a woman as your wife. Amen. 
or the father's representative to give a consent that you can have my daughter as your wife. Without that, you are a thief. You must rectify that. Go and see the, the lady's father or representative of the, of the father. But in those days, that's what happened anyway. They were taking them just like that. Said they took them for wives. They don't marry them properly. Yeah. Amen. And the Lord said, Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 I'm sure you are following the scriptures, yeah? All right. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man forever. For it's indeed flesh. Yet his day shall be 120 years. Let's move to verse 5. That to save some time. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Can you imagine? Who thought that there would be uh, 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 groups like ISIS and Boko Haram where they kill human beings as though they are killing goats? Every intention of the thoughts of man's heart was only evil control. So, evil, 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 evil. Planning evil. And we, and we see these things. In Ghana, 34 years ago, there's not like arm robbery. No. Nothing like arm robbery. But now we have arm robbery that a bus traveling to Kumasi or to Tamale and then robbers, you know, go and attack the bars. Amen. Where are they coming from? Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. I'm robbery. People, they go to people's homes in the late of the night, I mean late night, and they go with arms. Gun. Sometimes they kill them. They kill them there. They kill one uh, parliamentarian. Yeah. What was the name? J.B. Danko or something like that. Amen. Yeah. I hope I mentioned you want to kill him. Robert killed him. Amen. So you see, when you see and you hear those things, <laughs> and you see those things, remember <laughs> scriptures are being fulfilled. <laughs> it tells us we are in the days of Noah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If you understand, then you have to prepare for his coming. <laughs> Absolutely. Amen. And we need to be desperate about it. <laughs> it should drive us. The signs of the time should drive us to desperation. <laughs> so that every child of God must call upon God. <laughs> Hall- Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the Lord was sorry. That I made man on the earth. And it was deep in his heart. Can you imagine? God grieved in his heart. Yeah, feeling so that. Why, why did I even make man? Why did we bang man on the earth? Can you imagine? So think about it. When you see this in Capitol, think about God also. God, God is a person. Remember, Amen. God is not a stone. Absolutely. So when you listen, think about God. Let's sometimes think about God and put our, ourselves into God's shoes. Amen. How Amen. does God feel? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Genesis 19. Then we can comment about it on that again. Genesis 19, very briefly, Mr. Prisla. Then let's read from verse, to save some time, let's read from verse 4. Genesis 19, 4. Now before they lay down, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, both old and young, all the people from every quarter, surrounded the house, this is about the house of Lord. And they called to Lord and said to him, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us that we may know them carnally. No, they want to sleep with them. Angels visited Lot. And Lot kept them, the angels in his house. And we are told that the men of the city, both young and old people, they went to, not, they went to Lot's house. Amen. Say, Lot, give us those men. Not a mouth. Absolutely. 
that we will sleep with them. We know them carnally. We want to sleep with them. What is it? It's about homosexuality. And think about if you are God. You have created men. Created beautiful women for them. To live with. And now the man said, no, we don't want to marry the woman. We want to now sleep with the man. How would you feel if you are, if you are the creator? I mean, you will feel so sorry for yourself. That why did I make man have to do something about it? And that's exactly where we are now. Homosexuality all over the world. Amen. Man and man, that man and man, and all that. What is worse is that it's not just individuals pushing. Sometimes some governments are pushing it. Governments are pushing it onto rich nations. Are pushing onto poor nations. Amen. Trying to sometimes tie aid to homosexuality. Amen. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Amen. It tells us that look, as it was in the days of the Lord. So we are. But remember, in, in all of these two scenarios, God didn't just sit by aloof. Amen. In no Noah's days, God acted. No one Absolutely. But remember. Noah was a prophet. So there was a prophet on the land. Warning the people about what is ahead of them. Amen. And how they can escape. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we talk about as it was the days of Lord, remember in the days of Lord also there was an Abraham. Amen. Young guys, a lot. Abraham and Abraham lived, at the, lived at the same time. Amen. If one 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 Hallelujah. I remember Amen. Abraham was a prophet. And I remember it was Abraham who was pleading with God. Amen. Oh God, oh, if you go to Sodom and you find 50 righteous, will you destroy the nation, that, those cities? He said, no, Abraham, you are my friend. So if I see 50 people, I'm not going to destroy them. I have, I have a 45, Lord. No worries, I will not destroy it. How about 40? And Abraham bargains so hard with God until he agreed on 10 people. Amen. If I find 10 righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah and Ada, there were four cities. Amen. If I only find 10, Amen. I will save the four cities. Now, Abraham, Ten. Ten righteous people. Ten people who take God at his word. Amen. And God didn't get 10. God didn't get ten. When you do no four cities, think about it. Kumasi, Accra, Takra, De Tamale, four cities in Ghana. Just ten righteous, none. And God to rain far and bruise upon the land. Amen. And so, as Christians, say brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, as we see these things going on in our country and the world, we must draw closer to God. It should drive us into an attitude of desperation. Amen. We go to God and call upon the name of the Lord for our salvation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And so for this a particular group of persons, what happened was that the angels struck them with blindness. Amen. And so it's the same thing going on now. While there's a lot of sodomy going on, there's also spiritual blindness on the land. People are so blind. We have even forgotten about our basic Christianity. The basic Christianity that our grandfathers pass on to our parents, and our parents pass on to us. We have, we have those basic Christianity. And now we want, to go to, we want everything quick, fast. Amen. And we go to church, we say we are going with a cane. 
to whip Satan. Amen. You can whip Satan with, with Cain. And then uh, we allow ministers uh, uh, to just rob us our money and say they are selling uh, uh, cocoa and, 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 and water. Whatever. Uh, water, 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 water. How do you call it? Jordan River and all those things. It, it, it is just spiritual blindness. Yeah. And people buy it now, what readily. Say? Amen. Buy uh, 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 what do you call bundles, whatever. Amen. Amen. The name of the Lord is strong. Yeah? Amen. The righteous run into it and they mm. are safe. Your security is stored in some bundle or, or, so, or some holy water or whatever. Your security is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because Amen. at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's come up to Amen. Let's Get back to our base. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But the truth is that there's spiritual blindness. Amen. At the end of the day, absolutely. That's why people do it freely. It's a nipper bit to me. You know, cry. One year, cry. Blinded. When you're free, God have mercy. Rather, we are mobile. That He open our eyes. So, you'll be paying a knee. But that's the age we are living in Revelation chapter 3, 14. That's what it is. Amen. We are living in an age which is called the Laodicean church age. Laodicean church age. Yes, 314. Let's go quickly. It's not part of my notes, but let's really quickly go there to talk about this age. And to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things say the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you say, I am rich, how become wealthy, and have no nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, you are miserable, you are poor, you are blind, and naked. This is the age that you are living in. Remember, I was talking about the church. And that's where church has got into. Amen. Because we have left the word of God. Amen. Amen. That are basic Christian principles. Amen. And they do all kinds of things. But the spirit has got in the age generally. Which Christians have to battle with. With desperation. Amen. With prayer. Amen. It's to fight against the spirit of wretchedness. Amen. And the spirit of miserable, the people are miserable and poor and blind. Amen. But remember, you know the side aspect. And do not know. Go back. And do not know. Absolutely. So the church is in a very miserable condition. And poor. Spiritually. The church is poor. <laughs> Materially, <laughs> the church is rich. So you see, churches building big, big buildings. Fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah? But you talk about how that they are rich. So that's what said. They are rich. Yeah, they are rich in the world's goods. Amen. But, 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 but they're, they're, they're not rich spiritually. Amen. They're not rich with the word of God. <laughs> when they are not being taught the word of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That's it. You are living in this, but as God's children, <inaudible> sons and daughters of God, these things, when we see them, it must drive us <inaudible> to prayer <inaudible> with desperation. <inaudible> and the Lord will hear us <inaudible> and will answer us <inaudible> and open our eyes of understanding <inaudible> and take away <inaudible> our nakedness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the signs that we see going on should drive us 
into desperation. Amen. 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 The other problem that we have, why we are not desperate about his coming and being prepared for it is because we lack the love of God in us. Because the love, if you lack the love of God, you become like a desiccal. Anything goes. Absolutely. We become lukewarm. Remember this age? It says it's, a, it's a, it where the people are look, they're neither hot nor cold. And, and that's, why, that's how come a lot of Christians are. They're Amen. neither hot nor cold. And in God, we say, no, 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 yeah. Can't you know book with day inside? You can't be hot for the kingdom of God. You can't be hot for Christ. Don't live your life just like that. I mean, you don't care whether it's about God. No. You have to care about the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But we need the love of God in us to drive us to prayer, to drive us to desperation. And when we cry out desperately, God will hear us and deliver us from these kinds of conditions that we find ourselves in. Wretchedness and miserable, Amen. poverty, blindness, and nakedness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's turn to James chapter 5. Now, God. Amen. Oh. Amen. God will always meet a desperate soul. Amen. If you go to God in desperation, God will hear you. Hallelujah. Remember, I saw a subject. That prayer is heard. If I am telling you the condition that you need to be in, so your prayer will be heard, is desperation. Amen. Because God always hears a desperate soul. Amen. And only I will be praying. I will be praying for empire. Apostle James writes and he said, "Confess your trespasses to one another and pray." One for another. That you may be healed. So the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. The, hallelujah. Amen. The effective, fervent prayer. What does it mean? The desperate prayer of a righteous man avails much. If you are desperate in prayer, it goes a long way. Amen. Continue, please. Next verse. Now, the apostle gives an example of a man who prayed with desperation. And that was Elijah. Elijah saw how that there was so much sin on the land. At the time that Ahab was king of Israel, with the wife Jezebel, and Jezebel was an idolater. Her father was a murderer. And Jezebel married Ahab for political reasons. And when she came, became the first lady of the, of the, of the country, she brought her idolatry and the whole country was in a mess. Rejected Jehovah. They rejected Jehovah. Living their own kinds of life. And Elijah became concerned that how can we as a nation do this? Hallelujah. Amen. Then Elijah got desperate. No, something must be done. These people, something must be done. They, they must see something to change them. Hallelujah. Amen. So that Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly. He prayed Desperately. Hallelujah. Amen. And he prayed that it should not rain. And God heard Elijah's prayer. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. 42 months of farming. Amen. One month's prayer. 
Wow, man's prayer. Because he was fervent. He was desperate. See the condition that people were in. He said, Lord, don't let it rain. I closed the heavens for three and a half years. No rain was forever. Amen. And the people started crying to God. But there was hunger on the land. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when he saw that there was a change of heart in the people, Amen. Bible said, and he prayed again. Amen. And heaven gave rain. Amen. And the earth Amen. produced its fruits. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray in desperation. Your prayer will be heard. If you can also get there, Look at your own condition. Look at the condition that you are in. That of your family. That of your relations. That of your friends. If you be desperate about it and pray unto God, that prayer will be heard. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Last week we spoke about uh, about Jacob. When after he has stolen, not stolen per se, how he has cunningly obtained the, 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 the blessings from the father. That's right. So he got it the best right from the from the brother. And got the blessings from the father. And then he ran away, went to live with the uncle. He got married to, uh, to his uh, his two uh, cousins, Leah and, 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 and uh, Leah and the uh, no, the daughter is Rahel. Rahel. Yeah. But got some children, got some wealth, a lot of wealth, and he was going back to Canaan. And he look, hey, my, brother, my, brother, my brother told the servant that he was going to kill him. That is why when Rebecca had, they said, go, run away, and run. But he, he knew that this thought was still in the brother's heart. Amen. No, 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 no. By his time for him also, things were not going well at the uncle's place because Amen. the uncle was also cheating him. Amen. So he has to make a choice. Should I stay here so my uncle will cheat me or should I go back to my father's hometown? Yeah. And he said to go. And he remember, hey, my brother is there. Oh. He, saw, he will kill me. Oh. So Jacob got very desperate now and went to God in prayer and prayed and prayed and prayed. There was even an angel that was sent to him. And he wrestled with the angel and said, Angel, if you don't bless me, I'm not going. We must learn to be desperate. And pray as such. And God hears a desperate prayer. So God had Jacob's prayer. He went and met his brother. And when they met, it was peace. Hallelujah. Because God has worked on the brother's heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ruth was desperate. Now Ruth is in the When Naomi was trying to suck her, go back to your hometown. Go back to your God. Your, 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 your sister-in-law is gone. It's go back. And when Ruth got desperate, he said, no, Naomi, don't speak to me. On Naomi, and, 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 your God will be my God. Hallelujah. Amen. Where you die, I will die. Where you bury, I will be buried. And when Ruth made that decision, Amen. with that prayer, Amen. God had Ruth Amen. and blessed her with a husband called Boaz. What's a, 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 a very rich man. And Boaz, Rehab and, and, and Boaz brought forth uh, Jesse. And he brought forth Obed. And Obed brought forth Jesse. And Jesse brought forth David. So out of Ruth's line, we have David coming. And out of David's line, we have Jesus also coming. Desperation. Desperate prayer. If you pray desperately, God will hear your prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Eliezer. Remember when Abraham sent Eliezer? He said, Eliezer, look, I've lived in this for a long time. I know how people in this city are living. I don't want a wife from this city for my son. 
Go to my father's house. Go and look for a wife for me. And the laser set up with 10 camels and went to. And when they realized, hey, this is a, a big task that my father, has, my, 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 my master has got into onto my head. Amen. So when Eliezer realized that that's a big responsibility and he got to the town. He had to kneel down and pray. Amen. He said, Lord God of our master Abraham. Amen. Who has blessed my master Abraham? He has sent on this mission. Lord, help me. Please help me that I can get the right wife for his son Isaac. He said, Lord, let the woman that will come and fetch water here be willing to fetch water for 10 camels. 10 camels? Do you know the amount of water that one camel can drink? But because Eliezer prayed in desperation, God heard his prayer. And when Rebecca came, without knowing what kind of prayer that Eliezer prayed, Rebecca was willing Amen. to fetch water for 10 camels. And she did it. In and Eliezer's prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Praying with desperation. God always hears a desperate soul. Hallelujah. Amen. We talk about Hannah last week. How that uh, uh, the, 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 the rival, Penina, was pastoring her Amen. about children because Hannah didn't have children. And Hannah got in desperation and said, Lord God Almighty, God of Israel, if you hear me and give me a son, I'll give my son back to you. That he, will, he, will, he will live for you and work for you. He will be your servant all the days of his life. And God had a problem with Hannah because Hannah was very desperate. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever be your need, if you can be desperate about it and go to God in prayer, God will answer you. Because God hears desperate prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So while we talk about desperation, and men and women who pray desperately, we cannot say this without talking about my own sister, Irama. Amen. Rama, 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 second kings. If you read second kings, you can be the Shunamite woman. Rama, We don't call her Shunamite woman. We call her Irama. Hallelujah. Amen. Irama was old. Rama, no way. When the prophet Elisha prayed for her. And she, and she brought for the son. Absolutely. And when the son was about 10 to 12 years old, about, the son died on her lap. Think about it. A woman whose son dies at no other place than on her own laps. Even if a woman has miscarriage, it's a very difficult thing for a woman. To have Are you aware? No, the sisters they know about the men. Are you aware? Brothers, do you know that? Brothers, do you know that? Answer me, brother, do you know that? It is difficult for our sisters, for our mothers, for our, 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 our relations, if they have, if we have Miscarry. It's a very difficult for them. Are you aware, brothers? I want to hear from you, brothers. Amen. Maybe you don't know, but I'm telling you. Very difficult for a woman to lose a baby. Even through miscarriage. Amen. But now here is a child that is about 10 years old. 
or maybe 12, which was, going to, which was going to farm with a father. And she, got sick, she got sick at the farm and it brought him to the, to the mother at home. And the man, and the, this 12 year old boy, dies on a ramas lap. It, it you her into desperation. Absolutely. Amen. And in the spiritual, she, she had to think fast yeah. and make the right decisions. No, it was the prophet who prayed for me. Now, I'm so I'm going back, back to the prophet. Amen. So the prophet go back to his God. Amen. And I believe that if God gave me this son when I was barren and my, and my, my husband was so old, probably 70 years or more, then this same God of this prophet is able to bring back my child Amen. alive. Amen. Amen. Musicians, please. And, and so, Rama ran quickly and went to the prophet at, at uh, Mount Camel. And when the Rama got there, Elisha didn't know what had happened because the, the, the God doesn't always show things to, to the prophet. Amen. And so it showed the prophet also to desperation. What Amen. shall I do? He said, take my stick, take my walking stick and run quickly, head of me and go to the Ramah's house and, go and, and go and lay, the, the, go and lay the, the, my staff on the, on the child. Desperate. I will be pro. And Eliezer ran. He said, if you are going, don't greet anybody. Said, oh, okay. and and if anyone yeah. greets you, don't mind that person. Look focused. In this life, also remember, you have to be focused. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You have Hallelujah. to focus in life. Amen. Don't let things distract you here and there. If you're not focused, you'll not get results. Be focused. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what, that's what Elisha told the, 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 the Gehazi. Be focused. Gehazi. Don't, don't, don't greet anybody. Don't accept any greetings either. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Gehazi went and nothing happened. And Elisha, of course, followed with the rabbi. So Elisha went and then went to the room and the child was there. And he went to pray. No result. Got so desperate, and came out of the room, came onto the compound, walking up and down. Praying, oh Lord God, what shall I do? Oh God, help me, dear Father, help me. Oh Jehovah, help me. You know this woman, she's very kind hearted. Roman is very kind hearted woman. She's done all these things for us. Build a house for us. Yeah. When I come here, she cooks for me. She washes my clothing. She serves me and my servant. Oh God, help, help me, Rama. And, then, and out of that, anointing came. And he went up upstairs where the child was. And he went to stretch on the child. And the child sneezed the first time. And Elisha said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And the child sneezed the second time. And what did Elijah say? Amen. Praise the Lord. said, and then the child sees the third time. And what did Elisha say? Praise the Lord. I want to hear from you. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. As long as the child sneezes, Elisha said, Praise the Lord. Amen. And the child sneezes seven times. At the end of seven sneezing. The child came alive. And Elisha, hallelujah. Amen. Elisha called Gehazi. Gehazi, come. Call me Rama. Amen. Now, Elisha said, Gehazi said, Fred Rama, pray. Rama came said, Rama, this is your son. Rama, Obana, West Sun, West Sun, Obano, only you are here. Man of God, I thank you. Amen. Your Your God is indeed God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God. Here's desperate prayer. Rama got desperate. Rama won't pray no. Elisha the prophet got desperate. And God helped them both. If you and I get desperate, God 
Are you watched? One, two, seven. Have you been to Jesus? Are you washed in the 
this morning, remind ourselves about the condition that the world is in, the world that we are living in now. Just, just as it was the days of Noah, we are living that type of a world. Absolutely. Amen. But remember, you need to prepare for God's coming. And so in John chapter 3, there was a hope a Pharisee, a teacher of the law. Amen. Pharisee But he didn't have eternal life. And not only that one. No. A whole Pharisee, a teacher of the law, John chapter 3. Chapter so his name is called Nicodemus. Our friend Nicodemus. And he went to Jesus Nicodemus. Now, he went to the night without letting the other Pharisees see him. Because they have condemned Jesus Christ. They have insulted him. They have called him all kinds of names. And so he went to Jesus by night. He went to Nicodemus. And he said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no can do these things, this sign that you unless God is with him. Amen. And Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I said to you, unless one is born again, Amen. he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you are not born again, you cannot understand the kingdom of God. The word see here means understand. You can ask the kingdom of God and you won't understand the things that happen in the world today. You won't understand it. The blindness that is going on, the nakedness on the street that we see, you won't understand. Spiritual blindness, spiritual nakedness going on. You need to be born again. Verse 7 said, verse 7, Jesus speaking to Pharisee, a whole teacher of the law. He says, do not marvel that I said to you, you Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a teacher of the law, a religious person, I'm saying to you, you must be born again. So brothers, it's about going to church. Nicodemus was going to church. He was going to the, the temple to pray. But he lacked the new birth. Jesus said, Nicodemus, have to be born again. Don't marvel, don't be surprised. I'm telling you, you want to be born again. Because Nicodemus, you want to be born again. So it's not about going to church. The new bed is different from going to church. We must be born again. To understand the kingdom of God. To understand what is happening on the earth today. To understand the deception that is going on. The nakedness that is going on. And so then questions well, how can I be born again? It's a natural question that you can ask. He said, uh, 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 how can I be born again? You wonder how St. Paul assisted us in Romans chapter 10. In Romans 10, St. Paul speaking 10, 10, or let's say from when? He said, let's say from 8, 10, 8. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and your heart. Amen. That the word of faith which we preach the word of that, the word of faith that we preach, which we are preaching, some of that this morning, we are preaching that word to you. The word which we preach, we are preaching some of it, proportion of the of, of it to you this morning. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. For with their heart one believes unto righteousness. And with their mouth 
Confession is made unto salvation. Amen. For Jesus says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Amen. Whoever believes in him, in the Lord Jesus Christ, will not be put to shame. Amen. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. Amen. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon the name of the Lord, this is morning, you will be saved. You will be born again. And, and, and Apostle Peter, Acts 2 38, gave us the eternal prescription on how to be born again. And then Peter said unto them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what we need now. Repentance, repentance, repentance. We need to repent. We need to change, have change of heart and change of mind. We cannot continue to live the way we are living. And that's why when Jesus comes, you go. When you go, you will not go. Don't be deceived. You have to put away our old nature. Our old life. We must allow ourselves to be ruled by the word of God. What is written here? Remember what is written is written. It cannot be changed for you. It cannot change for me either. It's not about God bringing himself down to me. It's about you and I bringing ourselves up to this, back up to his word. We have to be desperate in our lives. Amen. 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 Reach out and touch the Lord. You want to go to God in prayer? You talk to God now. But remember, if one's salvation is about repentance. After repenting, you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the sprinkle water on you. And not either even to be baptized in water in the name of the Father's Holy Ghost. Father's Holy Ghost is not a name. There's a name to the Father. The Father. He has a father. She has a father, but the father has a name. The father has a name. The name of the father is Emmanuel Ai. So if Jesus says that, go and baptize in the name of the Father's Holy Ghost, the question, what is the name? The name is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is that in that you have to baptize into by immersion. After you have repented, then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the life that you live there after is not you living the life. Amen. It is Christ Jesus living the life for you. Amen. Living the life in you. And the God, God shall be revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Reach out. Touch the Lord. Let me understand here as we go to God in prayer. You find it's not to be to hear your heart cry. It's Medal, 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 medal. Let's talk to God now. Talk to God now. Tell him to save you. Tell him about your need. 
If you are sick, talk to God about it. So, Yari, I can't turn. If you know a friend who is sick, talk to God about it. Oh, Adam, you are Yari, I can't turn. Because he's here. That's all. He is present. Oh, what does he say? He has promised us that he's here. But he is here for a fact. Amen. Oh, what does he say? Talk to him now. What does he say? What does he say? If you have any family need, talk to God. Talk to him. Talk to him. Say, Lord, help me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, help my father. Help my father. Put you to desperation. Absolutely. Talk to him now. As you pray unto God now, you want to remember the prayer, lift up your hands. I have a Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, King of Glory, King of Kings. Lord, we realize that you are living in very terrible, very horrible times. The times of Noah's days, the times of Lord's days, the times of Abraham's days. So much evil going on in the world. Oh, great Jehovah, we bring ourselves to you, Father, and we commit ourselves to you, Father. May the blood of Jesus Christ cover us, oh God, shield us, protect us, oh God, from everyone, Father. And we cancel our intention of Satan directly against us, oh God, and of your children of here present, dear Father. May the blood of Christ cover us, dear Father. And Heavenly Father, we ask that God put us into desperation. Well, as you hear desperate prayers, oh God, not lukewarm prayers, Father, but desperate prayers, Father. That's what we ought to be in our dear call. It ought to take the Spirit of God to pray in that desperation, Father. Lord, our hands up, dear call. We sound at you, dear call. Have that own way with us, Father. We have had our own way for far too long, Father. But now, dear God, we submit to you, dear God, that we take control of our lives, so God, we be yourself to us, Father. Let us love you all our heart to God, because if we love you, dear God, we will keep your commandments. We will not live for ourselves, but we will live for you, Father. That's what we call for us, dear God. Oh, your great your grandfather, we ask in Jesus' name. And we pray, Heavenly Father, your people, as your people who have needs, very physical needs, very social needs, very financial needs, oh God, marital needs, oh God. What will be the needs, Father? We know that the dad do our jara. The Lord provides all our needs, oh God. May you provide for people, dear God. Grant their desires for heart, dear Father. As long as it's based on divine, perfect for their lives, oh God. Grant, Father God, may they have a testament to say that, Lord, they came to your house, they cried unto you, you heard a prayer, and you answered them, dear God. May they go and bring testimonies of what you have done for them already. Grant and great Jehovah. We thank you once again for our brother Emmanuel, I and the wife, Linda, dear God, and for their daughter, Deborah, and all the relations, oh God, that came to uh, support, dear God, them in this Lord, child name, dedication, Father, we ask your best upon them also. 
Bless your people, dear Father. And may we go and walk in the newness of life, Father. Give us the Holy Ghost in our souls, Father, that will live to bless you all the days of our lives. Grant it, Father. We ask these blessings in the matchless, marvelous, all-sufficient, and precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God, richly bless you. Amen. And thank Amen. you for coming Amen. to the house of God. Our doors are always open and you're always invited. Like we said, our business here is about eternal life. Absolutely. That's our focus. The how to live to please God. In an evil and adulterous generation, which is what we are living in now. God, will bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's offering time. bless your saints. May God bless you and may you go in peace. May the Lord continue to make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. God richly bless you. Oh, Adom, Adom, 
Adomia minha, Adomam, si é muna me de caminho, é muna me é masina. Se assim sobra na conta pra eles em Danara, o Iene Free no Moço, Ampara, Yanko Pona do Maracuá, Ande e da Sô. Se assim sobra na conta pra eles em Danara, Oi, é ne frio mo so. Oh, de ma pa pa mi ara e rizi. Oh, é frio nha mi na moa. Demiti é beto e biniza ne a chirasi. De nha mi a moa e ne beto ni. Oh, ma é tu e. Oh, ya mi abu ayene bo juni biniza yo ya mi na do maraqua biniza biniza ya mi abu ayene bo juni. Nizadio nyami nado mara 